from inside the minds of the original champs from the University of Dynasty Building. This week on the show we got a special guest, professional NFL analyst, Mr. B. Very excited about this, very excited. Home of the, the, home of the uh, Dynasty Building, the home of the winning streak. Oh, that's right. Fast ones are hot. Two wins in a row after dropping our last six. <laughs> Not the greatest, not, not my greatest uh, outing at all. I'd like to open up with a few predictions this evening. Number one, Vic will be the number one quarterback. That's right. By the end of the season, Vic will be the number one quarterback. This weekend, Rob Gronkowski, tight end of the Patriots, will have a big game against Indy despite the fact that Indy is number two against the tight end. Why is that? Because the teams that they've been playing... Don't use tight ends, and uh, the three teams that actually do use tight ends actually scored pretty well against Indy. So, uh, with all that, Rob Gronkowski, watch out. That's why he's in my starting lineup. Number three, Big Rob does not make the playoffs. First place all year long. I'm calling it now. Big Rob knocked out of the playoffs. Watch. Four weeks to get. FU. FU doesn't finish fourth in the Hugs division. How about that? How about that? We are fourth. We've been fourth since the beginning of the year, but we're not going to stay there. You can watch. Count on it. WKMA. We want to welcome SDFL to the show this week. Um, you guys are. Uh, you guys had a red hot start of the season, but uh, but now you sit at a tough. Two and f uh, five and five broke even. I thought for a while you guys were going to run away with that division, but a lot of stuff is all uh, tied up. Um, this will be the uh, hardest game for us this, uh, since the uh, second half. Um, we will kind of broke, kind of breeze right by the last two teams with our winning streak. But this week we got quite a bit of a uh, challenge here facing SDFL. You guys have uh, a handful of good guys. Um, looking at Breeze, looking at McFadden, all tough players, but. But we have five, count them, five top ten players in their positions in the starting lineup now. And it is a brand new team. Watch out, this ain't your mama's fast one. <laughs> yes, that was funny, thank you. This is a new improved 100% healthy fast one. It's ready to finish the second half of the season of football. FDFL, you can kiss my... Censored for the kids. All right, uh, let's toss that right in the garbage. <laughs> oh my God! Right now, I want to welcome the sh uh, to the uh, to the show the our guest this week. It is Mr. B, uh, NFL expert. Come on out here, Mr. B. Let's hear it for the Chiefs fans and eight-year-old Brandon, Mr. B. Now, you've done a little research, and the fans all want to hear what you have prepared um, with your uh, stats there and your predictions. What do you got? With six fast ones are 3 and 1, average 102 points per game. Without Vic, 0 and 6 at 61 points per game. Wow. Wow. Three and one with Vic, zero oh and six without Vic. Oh my God! I tell you what, I think we know who my keeper is. BF goes three and one, winning the division at eleven and eleven and two. Warriors go three and one, finishing nine and five. Fast ones go three and one, finishing six and eight. Dorks goes. Go one and three, finishing six and eight. Cabos go three and one, winning the division at nine and five. FDFL goes three and one, finishing eight and six. BBT goes two and two, finishing seven and seven. Tough goes zero oh and four, finishing embarrassing. Three and eleven. <laughs> TLC goes three and one, one, winning the division 
at 9-5. Big Rob goes 2-2, two and two, finishing 9-5. Destroyers go 0-4, finishing 4-6, 4-10. Oh, 4-10. Leonard go one and three, finishing three and eleven. Wow, that was our bold predictions, my man. Wow. So you got bottom feeders winning the division. You got Capos winning yeah. the division. And who's the last one winning the division? B uh, um, TLC. Oh, TLC, the commish, looking to win the division this year. All right, little man, Mr. B, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Excellent predictions. I stand by those 100%. Thank you. I Pete, I got to go chicken a deuce. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for the newest segment of the show, No Chance in Hell. For the people who have absolutely have no chance in fantasy football, number one, fresh off waivers, waivers Bernard Scott and newly on waivers Clinton Portis. All right, number two, Philip Rivers keeping the number one quarterback spot. Number three, finally, Tough Tough attending the 2011 draft. You got <laughs> No, you don't. Time to wrap up this show. In from Facebook's Christine Crawford, Tough Tough officially posted 15 times last week on Facebook. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.